Hey, what's going on? This is Derek. I was just about to head home uh, from the office and thought I'd do a quick office tour for tonight's live. So this portion of the quote live cast is actually a pre-recording that I'm doing right now and I'll just loop it into the to the live cast so that we can do some Q&A and stuff like that. So anyway, this is where I work. I've got uh, one of those uplift desks. It's awesome. It's a lifesaver. In fact, I just hurt my back a couple days ago. So to be able to stand up and work is awesome. And if I want to switch to bring it up higher take it down lower it's amazing i highly recommend this if you're going to be a designer being able to stand up is, is huge and highly valuable for your health anyway so that's my uh just 2015 macbook pro that's what i run everything with i've got the two screens here i've got one screen at the house so i can go back and forth without having to totally pack everything um let's see what else do you want to see oh I gotta show this so my kids come and play the office sometimes and they visit so I got to frame their artwork but there's the uh, there's the kids artwork stuff like that um, yesterday I mentioned those boxes that I did for packaging so here's here's the box I was talking about it's pretty cool it's got a matte finish and then a glossy metallic foil over the top so that was a ton of fun to make um, I've got a TV on the wall back here, and what I do with that is I'll usually throw, so we do a photo shoot, I'll throw my laptop here on this desk, and then I use the Tether Tools uh, cable here, it's just a USB cable, so I plug that into the camera, and then I use Lightroom to trigger the camera so there's no camera shake, or if I'm shooting by hand, what I'll do is I'll use, uh, it'll, it'll automatically sync into Lightroom, and then I'll use either, I've got an Apple TV here, to project the photo onto the screen, or sometimes I'll just use the HDMI cable because there's a little bit of a lag with the Apple TV. Um, let's see what else we got. got. a couch, got a shelf full of all kinds of crazy stuff. So here's, let's see if I can see that box. So that's the box all mocked up. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Anyway, it's kind of cool. Uh, so that was a fun project to do. What else we have? Um, so for the studio, so what I'm gonna do later, we just did a photo shoot today to kind of show uh, we got new apparel, new merchandise to put on the website. So this is how the studio is set up right now. We've got two soft boxes. These are the Spider Light TD6s from Westcott, FJ Westcott. So that's the big uh, rectangular box. All right, so apparently you can get phone calls and they'll stop your video if you're recording. So I just put my phone in airplane mode. I'll splice this together real quick. Uh, anyway, finishing the tour. So these soft boxes that we use when we're doing photography, these are from Westcott. I love them. This one's the Pro Shallow Softbox 36 by 48. Uh, it's fairly good sized and it has a nice even even light. So when you're in the in the show, see this down here. Well, anyway, you get the point. Um, so that's a great light. I love that you can uh, on the back here. I'm doing a good job. So I can loosen this up, and it's got a handle so I can pivot it. So that comes in real handy. Uh, it's also got these little switches on the back so I can stop it down. So each switch turns on two bulbs, super handy. Same thing on this guy over here. Uh, this is the strip bank. So it's the same, same, uh, I'm trying to call it, socket, is that the right word? Losing my mind. Anyway, same same part that holds the bulb, just a different soft box on it. And this is the, Pro strip rank, 12 inch by 36 inch. Uh, also, great, great thing here. So, and then I use uh, just a regular paper roll. This, I think it's Savage Paper, but anyway, it's been forever ago since I ordered that. I can't remember where I got it, but just basic white paper roll. So that's what we use for our photos. And a lot of times I'll use my own iPhone. I'll, I'll push and hold on the screen and then you can, uh, dial it up or dial it down. There's a little sun icon. And when you do that, you can actually overexpose the background so it actually blows it out, makes it white. Uh, anyway, a little tip I do. I'll show you guys probably in another video, but um, that's pretty much it. It's my office where I work. And one that I think you can see out here. So it's actually in a machine shop. Let's see if we can see. So anyway, cool stuff being made out there. And uh, what else is I gonna show you? That's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and turn this video over to the live me and we can do some Q&A.
Hey, what's going on? This is Derek. I was just about to... That was exciting. I wasn't supposed to do that. Hey, guys, what's going on? I'm um, happy to be here. Oh, man. I... I uh, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Doing the office tour and mixing in the video. I don't know. I thought that was... I was proud of myself. Good job, Derek. Um, so, yeah, that's where I work. That's where I spend my time when I'm not <clears throat> at the home office. So, I uh, just got home, put the kids to bed. Jumped on here for the live, so uh, hoping you guys have some questions. If you do, and if not, I'll jump into my quick tip for the day. What is this? Episode four from my 30-day challenge on Facebook Lives. So it's been a ton of fun, learning a lot, and uh, yeah, I'm actually enjoying myself. I hope you guys are too. If you haven't taken the time yet to subscribe to that YouTube channel, be sure you do. I'll comment the link below. I'll be starting to throw some actually polished tutorials up there as soon as I can. So you don't want to miss out on those. Also, you can follow me at D Mitchell Design on Instagram. If you're up for that, go for that. Do that. That's awesome. What else is going to tell you? Oh, yeah. So the tip. If there's any questions, I don't think there's any questions yet. So um, the only question I have here is from Ryan asking, how did I get that gloss finish on those boxes? So that was actually a spot UV. So there's a couple things going on. First, they did a matte, what they call a soft touch coating. So it was black, like a matte black finish. And then they do another, basically it's like printing, but instead of printing in ink, you, you print a spot UV that then they heat and it reacts to it, but it, it makes it glossy. So uh, multiple print process. So talk to your printer about that. Spot UV, that is awesome. That's a cool way. Uh, I'm always trying to reach for my stuff, but it's not here. Um, anyway, you can do some really cool finishes with spot UV. Actually, let me show you this. Let me jump onto my screen and I'll show you a resource for that. Real quick, like. Hey, what's going on? There we go. That's better. All right. Um, so if you go to, oh, let me think about this for a second. Um, taste of ink. And then there's also a uh, support color print. And I can't see with. These windows I got open. Okay, so four color print is a good one that does it too. And there's a couple others I can't think of it now. Give me just a second. So uh, let's see here. I should have planned ahead for this, but that's a great question, Ryan. So Spot UV. Anyway, Taste of Ink Studios, I've ordered from them before. They're a little bit expensive. Uh, to be totally honest, um, flawless a couple times. And then one time they kind of weren't the greatest with customer service, but... Um, Looks like they've got an A rating, so maybe they've been working on that and it's better. But just saying, like, uh, I recommend them, kind of. Uh, <laughs> can I say that? I don't know. Anyway, they've got some awesome business cards. And specifically, once this opens here, uh, you can see if it's still the same. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. I didn't plan ahead because this was a question I'm trying to respond to. So, um Anyway, they can do some different styles. The, uh, let's see, card type. Airplane coming in for a landing. Anyway, check out check out their website. Check out their gallery. Go under gallery under business cards. You might have a better chance uh, finding some of these cool samples that they do. Okay, here we go. So that spot UV. So if you look at this, the shiny part on this card right here. When I hover, it turns dark, so let me move off. Um, that's a spot UV, like over here, there's spot UV on this. So basically anything that makes it glossy, so there, it doesn't, if you hold it just right, you don't see anything, but then it re reacts with the light. So that's called a spot UV. So super cool design element that you can use in your next design. Actually not that expensive, depending on who you print with. That's why I was showing you four color print. They do some pretty cool stuff that's a little less expensive. Uh, there's a handful of printers that you can use, and I should probably just post everybody that I've used for you, but um, that's how I did that. So my quick tip for the night uh, was actually this really great resource. If you go to apple.com forward slash iPhone forward slash photography dash how dash two. Uh, I found this when I first got my iPhone, uh, iPhone X here recently. Uh, it's got all these really cool tutorials, like little video snippets, kind of like that one that I played in the intro. And... Uh, they're really cool. And so that's kind of what I was talk talking about when I was in the studio. So a lot of times I will use my iPhone and I will, um, hey, let me, let me, not that you want to see my face, but let me swap this back. Just kidding. I don't know how to do that. 
This is Derek. I was just about to head home. There we go. Picture in picture. Now let's go back to this. Awesome. All right. So anyway, what I was, what I was trying to tell you was uh, when I'm in the studio, I use my iPhone a lot because most of the – it's crazy because I have like a $10,000 camera between the lens and the body, but I use my phone. It's just ridiculous. But the reason is that it's with me all the time. It's fast. It's actually a really good camera on that. And honestly, everything that I'm shooting in the studio, like 90% of what I shoot – is going onto a website anyway. So yeah, sometimes that depth of field is really nice when you have a real DSLR that you're using, but for the most part, like nobody's gonna be able to tell the difference. And so I shoot a lot of stuff on my iPhone, a lot of stuff that's actually gone into print professionally and into uh, brochures and stuff. And uh, I don't know, uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys use a real camera or do you use your iPhone for everything or Android or whatever, Google Pixel, whatever. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> back to this quick little resource here. Uh, definitely check this out. There's actually a lot of settings that I had no idea an iPhone could do, and I'm sure Android or other phones could do something similar. Uh, I'm just obviously drinking the Apple Kool-Aid. So that is what I know. Uh, let me see, you got some questions here in the feed. Jennifer says, I created an ebook cover in Photoshop and uploaded it to Creative Space, and the text turned out very fuzzy. I have not used Creative Space. I'm trying to figure out if it's there's poor printing or if I did something wrong. Okay, so uh, when you're doing, and thank you, Miranda says, great job. Thanks, Miranda. Uh, when, you, when you're doing text, the, the number one software or app you can use is InDesign. It just does text really, really well, and it handles it for press and printing really well. Printers prefer it uh, for the export that it can do. Um, Illustrator is really good too because it stays vector. You know, Photoshop, all, all the softwares come a long ways. But usually when you're running into a problem coming out of Photoshop, uh, what I found is you probably have a multicolor ink on your blacks. So let me, let me open up Photoshop here and make a document real quick. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Okay, so I'm just going to make something new. And we will do something for print. I'm just going to click Create in FR11. Awesome. And let me just throw some text in there. Quick tip. I hit the letter T, click and drag, and I should be able to go to type down to paste lorem ipsum. So for those of you who don't know, lorem ipsum is a what we call a filler text or Greek text. And this is really, really good to use with clients. Uh, sorry, my microphone's right next to the computer. I can hear it just taking off in my ears. Um, sorry about that. Is that a little better? Uh, anyway, so, so lorem ipsum, the reason, so let me just paste this real quick. So you're not going to be able to see it because my text is white on a white background. So let's just, I'm going to click once, hit command A to highlight everything. I'm going to change my text up here to black. And right away you'll notice, so to answer your question, Jennifer, uh, right here, it tries to fill it with what we call a rich black. So it gives it a little bit of cyan, a little bit of magenta, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of black to make it really rich and black. Because if we use just one ink, just black, it doesn't really come out black. It comes out kind of like a faded, not black, right? Which is great when you're doing that for all of your images and stuff. Yeah, use rich black whenever you can. But with text, that'll get you in trouble because if it's not perfectly registered with the print, it'll shift a little bit, and that's when you get that fuzzy text that you're seeing. So the best way to handle that is to force these to be zero, zero, zero. So my cyan, magenta, and yellow, my colors are not showing up. And then my black right now is at 90%, but I'm gonna put that to 100%. Click okay. And then, uh, so now, a couple things at play here I wanna show you guys. So so to answer your question, Jennifer, that's how you would you should export your text from Photoshop whenever possible. And it depends on the press, it depends on the printer, it depends on, you know, there's a lot of variables of why it could look fuzzy. I'm guessing that's why. Just guessing. Maybe it could be something else too. Um, but when I've run into problems, that's that's been the biggest problem. So um, the other thing I was going to show you, uh, forgetting, it was in my mind. Uh, lower Mipsum. No, I was going to show you that either. I don't know. Anyway, lorem ipsum. So, oh, I was going to tell you why we use lorem ipsum. So from a design perspective, the reason why this is awesome is because you can lay something out, do a design, whatever. I'm just going to copy this, maybe throw down some kind of a title here. 
I don't know. So you could start mocking up some kind of design and most clients, when they see your design and they see the text, the first thing they start to do, rather than look at the design and see what you're doing with the design, they tend to read the text. So you'll show them this and they'll immediately, they can't help themselves, they will just read the text. And then they'll find, they'll find the typos that they put in there in the text that you said, make sure it's fine, all that, then they send you and then there's still grammatical errors and it'll happen every single time, I promise you. Uh, so as designers, we use lorem ipsum because it helps them see the design without being distracted by what it's actually saying. So a lot of times, first round stuff, I will send lorem ipsum. So that tip or that shortcut, again, is when you get a text box, so you can hit the letter T and then click and drag or just, just click once in there, depending on what you're doing. Go up to type, down to paste lorem ipsum. So that's where that comes in. So the other thing I would do, jump over into my browser here, and I'm going to go to... I think it's lipsum.com and lorem. Man, it's been forever since I've used these because I build them in the Photoshop and InDesign now too. InDesign has it. I don't know if Illustrator has it or not. Um, lorem2, okay, lorem2.com. So what's cool is you can just go in here. You don't actually generate text, but you can copy depending on how much you need. Or you can even uh, grab lists and you can change them from short to long. So that's kind of an easy way to, to grab some text real quick. Let's say you're not in Photoshop and you're working in, I don't know, something else that doesn't have that automatically, you can grab it there. This one's kind of nice too, Lipsum, L-I-P-S-U-M.com. And the reason why I like this one is down here, it's kind of, it's not a great design, but it works. So I can come down here and I can choose whether I want five paragraphs or maybe five words or five bytes, I don't even know. I can start with lorem ipsum or I can start with something else so it doesn't look like a lorem ipsum. So let's say you're like, hey, I need this to be like a 350 word paragraph. Let's say something really specific if you're working with a writer or something. And then I can click generate lorem ipsum. And there is your 350 word chunk of text. So I can copy and paste and know that it's gonna be about the right size for whatever the article is, maybe for a magazine or something. Uh, super handy. So those are my tips for the night. Any other questions before we bounce? You're welcome, Jennifer. Thanks for asking questions and for being here. Also, so when I pause with long, long pauses, the problem with going live, like I'm, I'm watching this live myself here. See, uh, um, what I'm seeing on my phone is like 30 seconds behind. So sometimes when we ask questions, it's like, Anyway, it's not as immediate as I would like it to be. So that's why I got to ask your questions before or right away, or I just got to keep jabbering on about nonsense until you guys ask more questions. So anyway, that's it, man. That's, that's all I've got, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if there's no more questions, I think I'm going to bounce. And if there are more questions, just post them in the comments beside, below, wherever they're at, and I will catch them on the next round. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, don't forget, I've got that brand new YouTube channel. I'd love to get your support and your feedback. I'd also love to see what you want me to post in there. Um, you know, post in the comments. I, I love answering your questions, and sometimes I don't always know what to talk about, mostly because, uh, I don't know, I think I've been doing this long enough that I forget, I forget, you know, where you guys are at sometimes. So there is no stupid question. I, I love helping you guys out. Feel free to reach out. Um, See, so follow me on Instagram, on YouTube. We already did that. And I guess that's it. All right, guys, enjoy your evening, and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.